Uh, no. Woo! Hey guys, what's going on? So, those of you who've been watching the channel for a while know where I'm at. I'm in my garage. And this week is week one, two, three. Week three of uploads. And I'm here to tell you and share something with you. And that is, fuck, I'm finding this hard. First week, first full week, seven days. That's eight days really, because I did Sunday to Sunday. I did 26 miles. Just finished up on the cycle bike. My ankles are shot and in pieces. And I'm like questioning myself, thinking, what the fuck am I doing? But I know I can do this marathon. I know I can push through, but I'm finding it difficult. Work's so busy. I feel like I've constantly got a headache. And I don't want this to sound like I'm moaning and it's a moaning type of video. I've just quickly shot it on my phone, but I'm like, I've got a headache, I'm tired, fucking leaving the house at 7 o'clock, coming back at fucking 7 o'clock, and then I've got work to do because I've got meetings the next day, blah, 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 no one gives a shit, I get that. Uh, but it's just like going from being 20, early 20s, doing these running things, these challenges, to the way that your body changes, and I fucking stupidly let myself go, and I beat myself up about it, like getting myself to this weight year in, year out, why do it, why do it, but I do do it, uh, and there's no need, I just need to find that happy ground, four years in a row, fucking look good in the summer, get shit in the winter, and then have to pay the price for it, my fucking ankles are hurting, blah blah blah, but look, I'm just sharing with you because, posted a really popular post recently, it was about everyone having this shit together, and I'm here to tell you, that despite the way I look, whether you think it's good or bad, sometimes I don't have my shit together. Sometimes I find it hard, and that's what I'm finding at the minute. Uh, I need to let my ankles recover. My trainers are fucking covered in wet and water because I went out in the rain and the piss wet through. But look, that's life. I get it. We're going to do another run this week. I've spent a little bit of time on the cycle tonight to give my ankles a bit of rest. And we'll pick up at run number one of this week, unless you count Sunday which is probably going to be a three mile and maybe some interval training, got friends around at the weekend. So anyway, let's go, let's do it, let's push through, let's power through, let's see what the rest of the week brings. Thank you guys. So, just thought I would share a little bit of a weekly update with you. Um, it kind of sucks really, um, training in winter, because the weather is just like, I don't even know if you can see, like dark wet, cold, you obviously can't feel the cold, but it is cold, it's miserable and cold, and I just, my ankles have been playing up, because I did, I think, too much the first week, and I've been debating, do I go for a run tonight, or do I not, um, but this is a thing I posted on Twitter, you know, um, it's not about motivation, and I talk about this time and time again, when you want to achieve something, it's about commitment, you think I want to do this marathon? <laughs> I know I signed up to it, but you think I want to do it? You think I want to go train? You think I want to go running now at quarter past nine? Uh, nah, not me. Hey guys, just checking in at the end of the week. It's been a re relatively quiet week in the sense that I um, haven't done much running. Um, I'll put my run up here. This is like the one run that I did this week. Um, although I did run on Sunday, so if you consider that I started on Sunday and I ran back to back and I did like 26 miles in one week and I think it's taken a toll on my body because I'm a little bit heavier uh, and my tendons around my ankle just feel a little bit like inflated and sore and I just basically got to lose weight so it's given me a kick up the ass really. If you look at some of my stats for this week you'll see that I've been eating around 1900 calories a week and that's good, there's been like a reasonable weight loss. Again, if you're not following any of uh, my Instagram and stuff, you'll be able to see this kind of on daily updates. So I had to kind of take it easy. I have done some like cycling on the bike and I've also needed to get some new trainers. I'm pretty certain of that. Um, I put up this picture of the Nike Zoom X flying at 4%. Uh, the ones that Elliot Kipchoge ran the sub two hour marathon in. And um, I'm contemplating getting them, but they're like 200 and... 50 pounds or 40 pounds and it's just so much money uh, but then I figure I am running a marathon and I'm going to be in them a lot um, and also this talk about them getting like ruled out and banned from being able to use them in marathon races and stuff because they've got like a carbon fibre plate uh, and a compression heel that basically 
accelerates your energy, produces energy and sort of makes your time and run anywhere from like 4 to 6% better than it should be which for a marathon is pretty significant. So uh, other than that I've just been out to Nose's Fire Park because it was Theo's birthday, he was two and he's got a birthday party tomorrow. Maya, wave to the wave camera. Wave to the camera, you can come here. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Have you packed lunch? Cheese. No. Stop. Look, Theo. Oh! <laughs> God, I think that's worse than a bloody monkey. Jesus Christ. Ah, look! <laughs> oh my goodness! What's that doing? <laughs> <laughs> What's he doing? <laughs> What's he doing? What's he doing? <laughs> oh, it's nice, isn't it? Oh. Oh. oh! oh! Wow! Wow! Can you see it? Dad! Let's back. come here! It's Dad! Uh, if I can sort that out, I get a little bit of footage of that. Um, he really enjoyed it. Second birthday, I can't believe that he's two. Uh, and for those of you that don't know, I've got another one on the way very shortly in April. So life is good, business is good, everything is good. Uh, I do need to start uh, getting together a plan. And I bought this Collins little notepad and kind of memo, which uh, I normally get the bigger ones, but that'll be good for sort of planning out my running and what I'm going to do. Uh, and as I've done that, um, I've got some friends up this weekend. Uh, I'll, I'll plan that out and I'll share that with you in case you want to use it for any kind of your training or marathon running. And sort of next week, I'm hoping to do like a food video in terms of uh, weight loss, weight management, what you should be eating and things like that when you're not like tracking your weight loss for uh, bodybuilding and stuff like that. So that should be kind of cool. Thanks for watching, don't forget to subscribe and remember stay educated.